Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be going over cross domain Ajax or reverse Ajax. So what we're trying to basically do is uh, contact another server from a web page, and uh, the server is going to return a JSON uh, object as the response. So this involves two components. One is writing the server side code, and uh, the next one is building a uh, JSP page with the required JavaScript functions. So basically what I have done is I have created a method named getDetails and I have mapped it to this URL getName and what this basically does is it uh, gets two request parameters one is the callback function the other one is the phone number so when the phone number is gotten here first I check if the phone number is uh, been passed that is if I check if the variable is null if it is null then I uh, make uh, then I return no data available. If the phone number is been defined here or hard coded here, then I uh, then I uh, return this number belongs to Venki or emergency based on the phone number that has been passed. So basically, what I've done is created a JSON object, and inside the JSON object, uh, I'm gonna put the key as result and the value as whatever I want the value to be, and I uh, return it to a page response. I'm using a view resolver method here so return response is going to return the response to JSP page here I have imported the uh, Google App Engine's repackaged JSON object uh, class and uh, what I have done is got the response that is the JSON object I'm setting from the uh, uh, Java, Java class in here and I'm uh, gonna pack it within the callback that has been passed. So this is the server side code and the client side uh, code is pretty simple. So what I've done here is created a small HTML page. First let's take a look at the HTML page, how it looks. So this is how the HTML page looks. So what I've done is on click of this line I'm calling a function. Let us take a look at what the function does. It's gonna build a script uh, element dynamically so what I've done is document or create script and I'm setting the uh, type as text slash JavaScript and then next what I'm doing is I'm going to set the attribute the source attribute to adapt QRM dot appspot dot com slash get name and I'm passing the phone number here as a request uh, parameter and I'm also passing the callback function and whatever callback function name has been passed a function with the same name has to be created to handle the data that has been returned by the server. Now the uh, small application that we saw that has been deployed to adapt qrm.appspot.com. So that's about it. So I have saved the page. Let's go ahead and check it. I right click go to inspect element have the firebug console open. On clicking of this uh, first let us clear the loggers. I'm sorry the console. Now on clicking of this line, the server has returned the data. It's the data sent back from the server is this number belongs to Venki. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the data that's being passed to the server. I'm going to make it as 911. Save it. And uh, I'm going to refresh this page again. And I'm going to click on this line. Now the data returned by the server is emergency since I passed 911. Now let's take a brief look into how the return data has been handled I'm using a console.log statement and I'm printing the data sent back from the server is data.result so this is the JSON object that has been returned and inside the JSON object we have set the key as a result and put the value as the desired value so data.result is going to give us the uh, expected result I have also provided the source code and the uh, source code for both the server and the client. You can experiment with it and uh, have fun. Thank you.